What type of music do you compose, Elliot? Uh, it's really hard to characterize my music in one word, and you probably don't want a hundred words, so let me see if I can compress it. Uh, it's concert music, what people used to call classical music, but it uh, takes advantage of the fact that a lot has happened in the 20th century, and anybody who has heard classical music only composed up to the year 1900 would probably be very puzzled by it. If if your life experience and if your musical experience goes beyond 1900, then uh, I think you'll find it uh, an exciting kind of new way of thinking about an old-fashioned idiom, which is basically classical music. And as you fade away, I'll begin this. Is that okay for the time? Can we start it again? I think it probably needs to be louder. Okay. Just a bit more sound. Out there, all right. Let me just try it again from the beginning. Ellie, where do you get your inspiration for your music? From a variety of sources, which often include uh, practical details, mundane details, which, which you'd think wouldn't be very inspiring. Uh, when somebody, in fact, just the opposite, if somebody were to say, Elliot, write a piece of music, I wouldn't know what to do. You know, write what you've always wanted to write. I still wouldn't know what to do. Um, when you say, write a piece for tuba, and then suddenly sounds begin to occur. If somebody were to say, write a piece for tuba that's eight minutes long, you begin, the, more, the more the restrictions begin to kind of box you in, the more the inspirational you know, the juices begin to flow. Uh, so having, again, very simple kinds of mundane requests. Uh, you know, I need it by next Thursday. It has to be 12 minutes long. Um, all of those things tend to focus my, my attention. I think the, the choice of instruments tends to inspire me. Uh, each instrument has its own, its own personality, its own character, its own history, actually. Any instrument is, a, is like a walking history book and you mm -hmm. go back in the centuries. Um, and so when you say you write a piece for oboe and cello and horn, a whole bunch of things come to mind, and also a whole possible arsenal vocabulary of sounds. Do you hear a man like you? Do you hear music everywhere? Do you hear it in a car horn? Do you hear it in a wind chime? Do you do, is it is it for you just music everywhere, all over the place? Yes and no. See, I'm very ambivalent, aren't I? It's fine. I haven't given Work you a straight me. answer yet. Um, the sounds of the everyday world uh, are very musical, and. There's no sound that isn't musical. There's no sound that isn't interesting. Um, 